in the last session we saw how we can test our association and whatever we implemented in the association class we tested that via the bobt transaction so we so when we, while doing the testing you know we manually maintain the the material key in the item details node so since this is a key which cannot be you know remembered by the user to enter the value so we mark that attribute first as a read only in my business object property place and so we make this field as a read only we don't want that to be editable and we write that determination on update of item details and whenever there is update is happening on material number based upon that material number will go and get the no um, key from the uh, business object demo business objects product uh, business object and update the value here so that's the way we want to implement the logics so let's go and create the determination class first so we changed it save and generate our business object mm. yes let's right click on the determination create determination uh, set material material update the material key okay so we want that to be a persisted determination so we will go with that approach and we update the class name is it cl underscore order underscore d underscore the material okay, we just give the name save this so when you want to trigger that this has to be triggered when i do the uh, update of my item node on the attribute called material so in the material attribute when there is an update i want that to be triggered so this is on after modify okay after modifying that this needs to be done so that's it on my determination modeling part so basically now you're going to tell the business object this is my determination this determination has to trigger on my item details node when i am updating my material matnr field or material number field on my ui so whenever i update that this determination has to trigger that so let's go on first create this class before we save the business object so create it yes yes if you want to save the business object yes put it in the local object so creating of determination is same procedures which we already discussed in our previous session so what is your interface what are the methods are available and what are the signatures are available in the you know um, what are the attributes or importing parameters are available in the method signature so b c l e r e t u fail key and c so what i'm what i'm trying what what i try to do it so i always activate my class and my business object okay so before i'm going to build the logic because when you want to build the logic it's going to take some time so till that time i don't want to keep my business object is in inactive mode or maybe you know something is inconsistent in my business object that's the reason i always does this so create the class and activate your class without having any logic first and activate your class and come back to your business object okay, because without activating this class even that will throw the error message so you activate your class and make sure you all the setting is done so save your do the check and correct check and correct and then we go on you know do the check and generate your business object so once this has been done so we should be able to go back and take the time to implement our classes as per our wish so what we are going to do so now our business object is consistent and it is generated so we will not have any issue so we can now we can go and edit the class so we'll go back and write the logic so same similar procedures always okay so 
data lt order item type is it uh, ret order hoping that something like this order item okay i will retrieve i will read the method is retrieve select the method press control shift enter and i also want to have this constant interface i f r e t order yes see node so we are in the item details node is item item details and then we have a et key which is importing parameter from our method and i want to fill the data so that's optional information you can pass it or not but here i'm going to populate that okay so now we are good now my order item is be available so this is on my update save okay so i don't want that to be get the product so either way you can read the all the product information from the product business object table that's a way you can solve it a so you can you have multiple option okay so select the um dv key from product um products business object table directly or you know that um all the service manager alternative e option to get the db key or your product so either way you can do it so now i'm going to use the you uh, know uh, the first approach so i'm not going to consider the performance stuff so i'm just going to write it so the better approach is you with the order item get over all the for this order item what are the materials available for the material once call the database table and get the key and then map the information that should be the better way of doing it or maybe you can go with alternate key it will be also also the better way of doing the performance you know in the better performance way of you doing it so far but now i'm going to do with the symbol putting the loop inside select sorry loop and select inside the loop so which is i know it's not the right approach to do it but for our testing purpose or simple implementation purpose understanding purpose i'm going to do it like this so um we know that we want to do the update in the material key so i'll use a reference data lr order item where matnr is is not initial okay so here i'll go with select db key um from product table i don't know exactly the table name into data data lv either you can declare the attribute let's let's say this let me get the um the database table before we process further so let's go back so i'm in the same session i'm going back and opening my uh, products business object which has been associated to my uh, here it is products business object and open your node root node and this is your table so this is a table so where you have the product is a demo of product id which is 30 character in length 
okay so but in our object it's a 40 character length mm, okay so let's go back to our business object and come here LV broad that key which is data uh, so you can write your way so this is a simple select which you want to do it so but I just want to go with the old approach to get the value and store it in that so broad key where uh, product ID equal to um, MATNR. Okay, so these are two different types. So probably we might need to do the conversion here. Um, let me check that. It will be product type slash PO f u slash demo product id clr okay here i'm going to push that into if there is no material is found i put it into fail key okay and we can write the error message also okay uh, into ability fail key so you can write the message after that so uh, material not found in product business object okay so you can write the message like this if it is equal to zero what I'm going to do I'm going to um, call the IO modify and do the update so same approach so I want to update the item node okay and the keys on my order item key so we know that we are updating the sub node so better pass the your root node key and your data is here okay and also i want to now easily understand as i said in the previous one of our session so if you put that information here so which is going to be much useful now if somebody open this class and try to go through the code what you what what is the logic we are doing it so it will be much easier to understand so if you put this all these values so if i so if i say here okay if i say if i left it blank okay so he has to go through line by line to understand it otherwise he can straight away come here and see it okay so what do, what we are doing it so we are doing some logic and finally we are passing the modification update to update the attribute which are the attribute we are updating it we are updating it only the you know the um, product key he, material key here so we just pass this uh, which attribute we are modifying it and then it's much easier to read that attributes item details on here i have material key which i am updating it okay so which i am updating it so but we didn't change the logic as of now so i'll just put this get it here material key 
and then so you have a product key here which is being deleted from database table okay so now we are done with the modifications reader selecting and updating that into our reference structure and passing that to framework interface object okay and error in line 24 i don't know what is this okay select single and so yeah it's going to throw the error message because we are not using the key field here yeah, either you can use select up to one row or maybe a yeah, um select and in select okay so now we good we done with the changes or we implemented the class and so in the next session we'll see how we can test the determination whether that is working or not as we implemented the logic thank you